Hello everybody, Rain Feather here. Today we are doing a bunch of little mystery packs. And the ones I have right now are one pack of Ancient Origins Pokemon trading cards. Season 4 Obsidian series for minifigure Minecraft. A two pack for the Uglies Pet Shop. A single pack of Uglies Pet Shop. One pack of Season 3 Shopkins. A Monsters Minifigures Lego. And Star Wars Micro Machines. So let's start with opening up the Obsidian Series 4 uh, minifigures. On the side of the box, you can get the rabbit, Steve, with arrow damage, the priest villager, the skeleton with a pumpkin head, Alex, the sheared sheep, and on the other side there is slime cubes, the tabby cat, a screaming enderman, the sneaking creeper, the zombie at the door, and a spawning spider. Let's open this up. Get some scissors. Now you can get these over at Target. That's kind of where I got mine. And each one is individually bagged inside of its own box as well. Let's tear this open and let's see what we get. And I have Alex. And here she is holding a cake block. I turn her all the way around. She has some very nice details as far as like her clothing and even a little piece of cake goes. I'm gonna set her off. Oh, I'm gonna set her off over here. Right here. Just kinda somewhere. Doesn't stand very well. The next one we're going to open is going to be the Legos Monster minifigures. Here's the checklist that should have all the different collectible characters. There's the werewolf, a pirate, like a, a zombie pirate, a mad scientist, a witch with a cat. I think this is a guy being eaten by a plant. Then there's this fly man, a ghost, a zombie cheerleader, a tiger girl, a gargoyle, a skeleton, Frankenstein rock star, a zombie businessman. I kind of have no idea what this character is supposed to be. This yeti creature that's holding a camera, it's like Bigfoot, and a spider queen. So let's see what character I got. Each character you do have to assemble. And I do have the tiger lady. The tail you have to touch to the legs before you put the character together. So here is the Tigress character. She looks kind of evil with that 
smirky face. Turn the character all the way around. Each piece is printed with the stripes, no stickers necessary. And the ears are part of the, the hair piece. So I'm going to stick her over here next to Alex. Next we'll open the Pokemon cards. Make sure the code card is not facing upwards. Oh, for you guys that do like codes and Legos, I will give you guys this Lego code because I will not use it. So I'll hold that there for you guys to so use. First person to see it can use it. So you guys have that. Take out the code card for the Pokemon cards. With Pokemon cards, there is a trick to make sure that your rare and your reverse hollow are in the back. So it's two, then um, one, two, three, then one, two. Like that. And let's see who we get. We have Unknown, Beldum, Gumi, Inke, Baltoy, Faded Town, Bell Awesome, Ampharo Spirit Link. Our reverse hollow is Combi, that's a common. And our rare is Regirock, non hollow. So it's not bad. Nothing like extraordinary like an EX, but not bad. Me, yeah, I'll put these right. Let's stick them off, kind of off screen. The next one we'll be opening is the Ugly's Pet Shop single. This one does have a tear strip. It is made by um, Moose. Let's see what we get. Here is the checklist for these series of toys. Which is series one. The category is the categories are the slimiest, the smelliest, the hairiest, the grossest, the stickiest, which are all ultra rares, gross homes limited edition and there is surprise poops lovely so let's see who we got we have it's a wiener dog and he is what is he? He is a rare. So stick him in the back over there. Next we will open the two pack of the ugliest pet shop. And this is actually like really cool, like a reusable plastic like dog food can. Open here, tear it off. So it's got some texture on the top of it. It's got some like claw marks and some spider marks and a little pull tab. Kind of curious. I can feel texture underneath the paper, so I'm kind of curious what this does look like. Like underneath. I'm just gonna pull this piece off. And I was right, there is a lot of texture underneath the wrapping. It's, a, it's reusable, it's its own toy, is the container. So it's got the logo in the front, with like some rolled up newspaper, some bones, there's one of the, like the poops and some slippers. It's got a bunch of like slime texture on it. So let's open it up, see what we get. So here's another checklist. 
checklist should be the same. And let's, let's open this one since it doesn't have any like tape on it. This one is. Let's see who this is. This is the Smelly Bum Boxer. And each one does come in three different colors. He's kind of got like a, a paint mess up here on his face, even. And this one is... He is a common in this color. So let's stick him here over next to the other one. And this one does have tape on it. Like, a lot of tape. So I'm just going to pull this off here. Stick it to something else. Oh, he's, he's sticky. That's, that's kind of gross. Ooh, it like sticks pretty good to something. I could pick up a Pokemon card with it if I wanted to. And this one is, since he's sticky, I think he'd be in the stickiest category. This one is, I think this one is the Barfing Beagle. It's an ultra rare. Yep, this one is an ultra rare. I'll stick him back here with his little buddies. I'm just you like how sticky these things are. I'm gonna pick up the instructions with them. I have the instructions with the little checklist. The next one we will open will be the Star Wars Micro Machines Series 1. And here we have, there is no checklist. So, I'm sorry, but I honestly could not tell you the name of what this fighter plane would be. Let's see if I can pop it out of this little, little plastic case here. They are semi-flexible in plastic and do have a lot of detail in the molding and in the paint job. And it's got like a little hole here. I think there's like pegs you can stick it on or something. For like displays to make like little things full of flying ships. So here's the underside of it. Inside of it. And then the top side of it. A lot of detail. It's very small. The last one we will open. That is the last one, yes. Yes. Will be the season three shotguns. Which does very well in packaging their items. Some more tape holding all the cardboard together. And inside this little plastic cart or basket, basket is plastic and is kind of like these, it's like its own little toy. It's glittery pink with some teal handles. Move, move all this trash out of the way here. And inside this is going to be two Shopkins. And here's the checklist. Oh, it's, it's kind of like a little, like a receipt. So 
So the categories for these is bakery, hats, shoes, and sweet treats. No, oh, there's more on the other side. There's fruits and vegetables. International foods. Homewares. Stationery. And limited edition. So let's see what we get. They come in these like little individual like yellow baggies. And we have a shoe, like a little rain boot. So let's see who that is. I'm gonna go to the shoes and let's see who it is. This is Jennifer Rain in the yellow color. She is a rare in this color. So I'll put it right over here. And then we'll open up the last one. And we have a birthday cake. It's what she looks like. She looks like a birthday cake. She says happy birthday on her. She's got this cute little face. And it looks like they can be used as pencil toppers. So let's see what her rarity is. She's not homewares. Let's take a look at sweet treats. Because I think she's a birthday cake. Oh, is she a hat? No, oh, she's not a hat. Oh, bakery. That would probably be the best place to find her. This is Birthday Betty. And she is a common. So, very cool. So here's all our stuff kind of put together. Alex keeps falling over. So tell me what you guys think. Don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment at the bottom of the video if there's anything in particular you'd like me to review. And we will see you next time.